to Penny, Keeping It Real. I am so glad that you have decided to join me today. This is a beautiful day in the sunny state of Florida, and you've caught me in front of the outhouse. Oh no. Stay tuned with me today, because I'm going to have an awesome show for you. Turn up your hearing aids. If you'll turn with me to Romans 10 and 17, Romans 10 and 17, everyone should come with your sword, with your manna, with your word. And I'm going to read the first, the first verse, um, at the Living Translation, because I just like the way it says it better. <clears throat> But not everyone welcomes the good news. For Isaiah the prophet said, Lord, who has believed our message? And then I'm going to skip over to the King James and it says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. I couldn't understand what the Lord kept telling me about the word hearing. And the word hearing in the Greek means the thing hearing. The thing hearing is what actually the word, I looked it up in the Greek, and it means the thing hearing. Turn with me to Amos 8 and 11. I'm going to give you just a few scriptures before I go into the message. Amos 8 and 11. And if you'll look at the book of Amos, just briefly flip through its pages, um, like in three, chapter three, the first word is, hear this word. Chapter four, hear this word. Chapter five, hear this word. Three chapters, and Amos starts with, if not more, hear this word. So I believe that God is trying to say, listen and hear this word. Amos 8 and 11 says, behold. The days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but for hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro, to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Now, many of us know that the Old Testament was before Jesus, but there is so much insight into us today just from the Old Testament, and I believe a lot of this is for us today. And God said that there is going to come a famine in the land when people are not going to hear the word of God. Now, we know that people are hearing it because you've got the Internet, you've got the radio, you've got the television, you've got ve many, many vehicles and avenues, but what God's saying is they're not hearing it. They're not hearing it. Turn with me to Acts 28, the book of Acts 28, 26, and 27, saying, Go ye unto this people and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. For the heart of this people is waxed gross, or gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed. Lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and shall be converted, and I should heal them. So I want to get the message out to you today that you can actually see and not be seeing. You can actually hear and not be hearing. Have you ever been at a ball game and someone would say, did you see that play? And you were watching the ball game, but you just did not see that play. Your mind was wandering somewhere else. Have you ever been sitting there watching a movie and someone said, did you hear that? You, you were listening, but you didn't hear it. Um, that's what God's telling me today about the word. Faith comes by hearing. 
If you close your ears and read this word, faith is not coming to you. You have got to believe with your heart what you're reading for faith to come to you. And that just came to me, and maybe it's crazy, but that just came to me this week. Too many people, their eyes are open, but they're close. They're seeing, but they're not seeing. They're, they're, we need to pray for the scales to come off of some people's eyes because they're actually not actually, they're not actually seeing what God's wanting them to see or hearing what God's wanting them to hear. If faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, then the more we read and believe this word, the greater our faith is going to be. And I believe that God is wanting some faith built up this morning. Amen. I think he's wanting us to actually take this word and let it be a miracle grow to our faith. Because everybody has been given a measure of faith. But it's if you're going to cultivate that and water that and work that, if it's going to grow and without faith, you're not going to move mountains. 